Centralization. Centralization or centralization, see spelling differences, is the process by which the activities of an organization, particularly those regarding planning and decision making, framing strategy and policies become concentrated within a particular geographical location group. This moves the important decision making and planning powers within the center of the organization. The term has a variety of meanings in several fields. In political science, Centralization refers to the concentration of a government's power, both geographically and politically, into a centralized government. Centralization in Politics History of the Centralization of Authority Centralization of authority is defined as the systematic and consistent concentration of authority at a central point or in a person within the organization. This idea was first introduced in the Qin Dynasty of China. The Qin government was highly bureaucratic and was administered by a hierarchy of officials, all serving the first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. The Qin dynasty practiced all the things that Han Feizi taught, allowing Qin Shi Huang to own and control all his territories, including those conquered from other countries. Zheng and his advisors ended feudalism in China by setting up new laws and regulations under a centralized and bureaucratic government with a rigid centralization of authority. Under this system, both the military and government thrived. This was because talented individuals were more easily identified and picked out to be trained for specialized functions. Features of Centralization of Authority in Ancient Chinese Government Idea of Centralization of Authority The acts for the implementation are needed after delegation. Therefore, the authority for taking the decisions can be spread with the help of the delegation of the authority. The centralization of authority can be done immediately, if complete concentration is given at the decision-making stage for any position. The centralization can be done with a position or at a level in an organization. Ideally, the decision-making power is held by a few individuals. Advantages and Disadvantages of the Centralization of Authority Centralization of authority has several advantages and disadvantages. The benefits include Disadvantages, on the other hand are as follows. Centralization in economy. Relationship between centralization, i.e. concentration of production, and capitalism. As written in V.I. Lenin's book, Imperialism, the highest stage of capitalism, the remarkably rapid concentration of production in ever larger enterprises are one of the most characteristic features of capitalism. He researched the development of production and decided to develop the concept of production as a centralized framework, from individual and scattered small workshops into large factories, leading the capitalism to the world. This is guided by the idea that once concentration of production develops into a particular level, it will become a monopoly, like party organizations of cartel, syndicate, and trust. Centralization in Business Studies most businesses deal with issues relating to the specifics of centralization or decentralization of decision making. The key question is either whether the authority should manage all the things at the center of a business, centralized, or whether it should be delegated far away from the center, decentralized. The choice between centralized or decentralized varies. Many large businesses necessarily involve some extent of decentralization and some extent of centralization when it begins to operate from several places or any new units and markets added. Features of Centralization in Management 